Hi guys, it's Carol. How are ya? I'm pretty good. It's only like, uh, I think 98. So, cooler than it has been. It's almost 1 o'clock. Casey's gone into our little neighborhood Walmart grocery store to get something. And then we're going to take books to drop off at the library. And um, then we're going to go to the United Grocery Store, the local grocery store chain, where they're roasting green chilies again this weekend and get us another of that $6 green... No, Toby. I'll have to cut this out. <laughs> Come up here with Mama. Um, we're going to go to the United Grocery Store parking lot where they are roasting green chilies and get another one of those meal deals. Uh, Casey's probably going to get the sausage wrap, I think. And I'm going to get another one of the green chili cheese hamburgers. You get a hamburger, a drink, and a bag of chips for six bucks. Or if you get the sausage wrap, it's five bucks. So anyway, that's what we're going to do for lunch while we have an opportunity to get those. And, uh, I don't know. It's still hot. It's all next week's going to be a hundred or hotter. And we are sick of it. <laughs> but I'm sure you are too. I know everybody is hot. I made cookies even though uh, the day that it was 107, I made cookies. <laughs> I hope I get a new oven. Well, first let me tell you about the cookies. Casey found a recipe for peanut, not peanut butter. Casey found a cookie recipe for pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> it's a lot of different flavors going there, but that's what she wanted. And so I made them. They were pretty good. Casey really liked them. Rhett loved them. Uh, Taylor and I ate them. They were good, but I, if it were just for me, I wouldn't make them again. That was, that was too much going on, but... Uh, absolutely loved them and Casey loved them so I'm gonna stick in a picture of those cookies and I'll give you the recipe of course that came off Pinterest you know where I get everything in my life pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies with some spices thrown in there they were really good they made a nice soft cookie I mixed them up but Casey baked them at her house that's what they look like uh, we had inspections on Tuesday because we're government sponsored housing or we're low income housing. Every three months we have an inspection when the pest control people come. And then once a year we have inspection when the owners are going to come check on things. And once a year, we have an inspection when, uh, I think it's state, somebody has to come make sure our smoke detectors are working. And then once a year, <laughs> it's even worse, we have the fire department comes and they have to check every outdoor fire alarm. There's six buildings and there's one, two, three, four, there's 12 of those in each building. That's a little red box, you know, and you pull the handle if there's a fire. They have to check every single one of those. 12 in six buildings, 72 of them have to go off. The dogs absolutely hate it. <laughs> and then we have, um, when they do that, we have a little speaker inside our apartment that goes off to let you know something's on fire so we have an inspection <laughs> you know every couple of months at the most when somebody's coming in our apartments well anyway the inspection on Tuesday was people from the corporate office and I told them about my stove I have a our apartments are all electric and a couple of years ago they replaced the 
stove in my kitchen. And when they put it in, first of all, the top does not fit down, you know, the part that you can lift up to clean underneath there, under the burners, that does not sit right. It never has. I can stick my hand in between the top and the rest of the oven. That's not right. I told the maintenance man that is not right. It Heat comes out horrible when you're using the oven. If you set an egg on top of the the stove where the you know where the burners are it will roll to the back because it's so unlevel it's not right and I told him that and he said no that's right can you stick your fingers in there when the top is down he's no longer with us thank goodness because he wouldn't fix anything unless he decided to um, but anyway somebody from the corporate offices was there doing inspections and I showed her that and she agreed no that is not correct so either they're gonna fix it or give me a new one I hope they just give me a new one um, you know they, they I know they buy the cheapest appliances than the cheapest carpet for apartments but I hated this stove uh, one of my subs told me they had one in their office somewhere in their break room and they hate it too the burners have some kind of control on them when it gets up to a boil, then it shuts itself off or it reduces the temperature. So if you're trying to boil something like spaghetti, it gets up to a boil and then it stops boiling. And then you turn it up and get it back up to a boil and it stops. It's crazy. Whoever thought that was a good invention, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm hoping I get a new stove. I'm hoping I get a new dishwasher because it's not working at all. Um, I told them about my dryer. Big chunks of lint come out the dryer vent outside. It comes, the dryer vent is on my patio outside. And so I see big chunks of stuff coming out. I don't think that's normal. So I asked them if they could have my dryer vent cleaned. Uh, I bought a brush that you stick down in there and clean and I've got all kinds of stuff out and I clean it every time I turn the dryer on I clean that you know that where you can clean I clean it every time before I use the dryer but um, I have this brush that I could stick down in there a little ways and got out all kinds of gunk and I think that's just a fire hazard so I'm hoping that they'll either get me a new dryer the dryer works fine it just needs to be cleaned out but the the part that you can pull out to clean lint, it's got a hole burnt in it. Uh, I think that dryer needs some help. And uh, I forgot all. Oh, somebody tried to cut my bedroom. Somebody did cut my bedroom screen in two places. So they're going to get me a new screen. And well, the stripping has come off the bottom of the door, the patio door. So they're going to fix that. Anyway, I had a whole list of things for them to fix. Oh, Casey's back already. She, we've been, we buy um, purified water in plastic jugs. And then we discovered in Walmart, they're like $1.24 a gallon. Then we discovered they have this machine in Walmart. I think it's 64 cents a gallon to fill up your own plastic jugs. So we've been saving our plastic jugs in case he took them in to get water. And uh, anyway, so that's what's going on here. Casey's church was giving away backpacks full of school supplies for kids. They planned to do it for three hours. They ran out in 45 minutes. <laughs> so she wasn't gone very long. But people, Emerald is a very giving city. There were churches and businesses all over town that were giving away backpacks full of school supplies. So that's really nice. I wish that that had been a thing back when my kids were in school. Hi, Casey. Hi. Was the water 64 cents a gallon? No, no it's 48 cents. 48 cents. That's yeah, great. It's $1.24 if you buy it already bottled up. Yeah. Um, oh, i got to go get my medicine from the dry store. I got it. Oh. It's in the grocery bag. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Um, um, what else?
else we know to tell our friends today? It's hot. It's hot. Really? It's only 94, but... I thought it was 99, but whatever. It's in the 90s. Know. It's supposed to be up to probably 99. But I'm done with some... <laughs> oh, Toby. <laughs> Toby, stop. Toby. <laughs> He's just getting a basket. Quick. Yesterday evening, <laughs> about 9 <laughs> o'clock, we went for a ride. I, Casey and I both have depression, you know. And don't try to fix us. We've been under psychiatrist care for... And therapist. And therapist for ever and a day. Casey, you know how old you were when you started seeing a psychiatrist? Yes, I was 19. 19, and you're 43. 43. And I've been seeing a psychiatrist in that long, too. <laughs> so don't try to fix us. We pay people to, that are supposed to do that, and... Uh, they do a fairly good job, but still, we have bouts of depression all the time. And last night, I just wanted to ball. I told Casey, I just want to ball. And she said, well, she did too. Over oh, absolutely nothing. There's nothing sad going on. Yeah, I just had a feeling like any minute I could just start turning my hand for no reason. Uh, in fact, Casey and I were sitting on the couch together, and I was showing her something on my phone. I just wanted to lay my head on her lap and have a good cry. But well, you could have. Uh, instead, I said, let's go for a ride. And so we went for a ride, and she took some pictures of some murals. There's murals all over town here, maybe where you live, too. In, in Texas, New Mexico, for sure, that seems to be a thing to paint murals on buildings. But anyway, we saw one we hadn't seen before, so yeah, they did a bunch of new ones, you know, within the past year. Well, they have a festival um, yeah, I think that just started a couple of years ago. Yeah, just a couple of years ago, they started to have this mural festival, and people from all over come and paint. But anyway, we went for a ride, and this one that we had just noticed yesterday, Casey took pictures of it for me, so I'll stick it on the end of here. I'll stick them in right here. This is a mural on a dance studio and another building. That is actually a pickup truck cut in half that they've mounted to that wall. I thought that was pretty cool. The Route 66 sign references Route 66, which goes straight through Amarillo, Texas. Driving this old pickup is a prairie dog in a black cowboy hat. Our local baseball team is called Sod Poodles after prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are plentiful here. They're actually a rodent that lives in burrows under the ground, and they are everywhere. This is what a real prairie dog looks like. They're cute little things, but they're a rodent, actually. Okay, on this part of the mural, I've got an arrow pointing to an osprey. Not an osprey, the bird, an osprey, the aircraft. They're built here in Amarillo. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American multi-mission Tilt rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing and short takeoff and landing capabilities. Since they're built here in Amarillo, we occasionally see them being test flown around. Um, it's designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with a long range, high speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. We think they're pretty cool. I really like the painting of this pair of cowboy boots. The background is uh, depicting our sunsets. We have beautiful sunsets here and sunrises. Here's a windmill. That's how we get water out of the ground for cattle, crops, people to drink out on farms and things along with our beautiful sunset. That car represents Cadillac Ranch. I've got a video about Cadillac Ranch. There's a bunch of old Cadillacs buried in the ground. This Cow represents the cattle here in the Texas Panhandle. There are more head of cattle in the Texas Panhandle than humans. And then that's another reference to Route 66. And the cacti that grow here. We have cactus everywhere. In the background, those are rock formations that you see down in Paladura Canyon. Right here, that rock formation that's orange and sticks up, that's called the Lighthouse. That, again, is a formation that you see down in Paladura Canyon, which is the second largest canyon in the United States, and it's about 15 miles from us. 
Here is a real photo of the lighthouse. It's not crooked like that. The photo was just taken at an angle. But that is what Paladora Canyon looks like. But when we got home, it was like 9 o'clock or so. And the temperature was only 84. Oh, it was, it was wonderful so nice. to be 84. It was just wonderful. And this past several days, we've had a chance of thunderstorms. They've missed us so far. But today we have another chance for thunderstorms this evening. And I hope we get one. Me too. Uh, it would be so nice. But anyway, now we're on our way to go get our... I'm going to have the green chili cheeseburger. Are you going to have that or the sausage wrap? I'm going to have to try the sausage wrap. I know that it'll be delicious too. Well, let's sit to get a picture of her sausage wrap. Um, uh, what does that bumper sticker say? If you honk at me, I will... Oh, no, I don't want to read that. Oh. <laughs> I can't read. The, if you honk, the letters were great big. I thought maybe it was something cute and funny, but evidently it was not. <laughs> okay. I guess that's all we know for this day. I'll stick in the pictures of the sausage wrap. I'll stick in the pictures of the cookies. Tell them if you like the cookies or not. Oh, I liked, I, I've always liked the molasses. The pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip, I didn't know if I would like pumpkin and oatmeal together, but it was really good, and Rhett loved them too. I said Rhett loved them. Casey, I mixed them up at my apartment because I have that wonderful good mixture. Thank mixer. you, Marsha. I love that mixer. I use it every time we're going to mix up something, but, and I love it, and it's wonderful. But anyway, I mixed the cookie dough up. Taylor does not like pumpkin or oatmeal cookies, and since that was a pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, I made a batch of just soft molasses cookies for, for her and me. Well, you know, everybody could eat them, but we wanted those because we weren't sure about having the pumpkin oatmeal. And I liked them. I did like them. But anyway, Casey took the dough up to her apartment to bake it. Of course, her oven actually works better because of the, you know, I told you how my oven the, the top part doesn't connect and all the heat comes out. It doesn't bake very good. So Casey took them to her apartment and baked them. And uh, the first one you said you underbaked? I slightly underbaked it because since I've never made them, I didn't know what they're supposed to look like. And I also made them bigger than the instructions said, even though I cooked them a minute longer. Oh, the instructions um, said make one inch balls. We thought that was crazy, mm -hmm. one inch, but go ahead. But um, I did just almost one inch. It was just slightly over an inch and they were perfect size. For the second batch. Um, but they said, and they were still good. They just fell apart. So the other ones I made, I made one inch, I guess, on the other ones. They were perfect, and they're um, they spread out a little, but they're still big in the middle and soft. It's like a cake-like cookie. Yeah, they, they were flat. So good. They were kind of puffy. But cookies. you have to chill the dough first. You must chill the dough first. And when she said they fell apart, that was the cookies that she underbaked and she made them a little yeah. too big. Those fell apart. Yeah, I mean we still ate them. I mean they. Were oh, good. they were still delicious. <laughs> uh, but then when she cooked made them one inch and cooked them longer they didn't fall apart they just made a, a nice fluffy yeah I'm cookie. sure I can make a big cookie and just cook it longer I just think the edges might get a little oh sorry I'm um, uh, overcooked for the middle to get done okay we forgot to take the library books oh we oh I, it's okay we're just we'll go to the library first yeah we're not to 45th yet Okay, so that's it for us for today. Pray for rain for us. Pray for rain for you. I know you're hot too. And, uh, oh, those of you who watched Darlene McFate, her latest series of shots, she, she started, she got a shot and it helped with the pain. So go over and say hallelujah for Darlene. That poor lady has been in horrible pain. And I see the one with the... There's the parking lot. There's the sign that says, has chili fetch. There is no little food truck. Oh, uh, oh, I bet. They moved it up to the front, I bet. There's oh, a little. Good. It's a huge parking lot. You couldn't bet. They didn't have, they had the heck chili fest, but they, there wasn't a big sign that said burgers and stuff. So I wouldn't have known what they were doing right there. Yeah. So they needed to advertise more. Anyway, 
that's it for today. I hope you're doing well and let me know what's going on in your little corner of the world. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to try to make at least two or three videos every week in August. So, we'll see. If you have any suggestions for a video or if you have questions, please put them in the comments so I can make a video about that. Oh, and my five-year anniversary was July 24th or July 26th. I'm not sure now. Oh, we should have done a big video and celebrated. I didn't realize that. Well, happy anniversary to me. <laughs> Some of you have been with me since since then. I mean, quite a few have you of you have been with me since I first did my first video. So thank you very much. And I really consider you guys friends. And I worry when I don't hear from you. So okay, guys, that's it for today. Talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye. I forgot something I was going to mention. When I did that video, I'm holding this instead of putting it in the holder. When I did the last video about getting my walker and my shower chair, and I showed you how I got them from Amazon for half price, uh, a couple of you mentioned that I could have gotten them at a thrift store real cheap or at garage sales. Yeah, that's true, but I haven't had a car in years. When did I last have a car, Casey? Oh. I sold it to help you buy the blue Escort. Uh, not Escort, a uh, blue SUV. I had, and I had that for maybe five years. And then I had the Red Equinox a year, and I've had this a year, so it's been seven years, Mom. At least seven oh, years I haven't had a car, because I just can't afford the car payment, the gas, the oil changes, or the insurance. I just can't afford to have a car. I started driving when I was 15, so I drove for a quite a long while. I was in my 60s when I stopped having a car. But anyway, because of I don't have my own car and all of my kids here work, I can't just get up and go to a thrift store or garage sales because I don't have a car. But yeah, it would have been cheaper to do that. But So if you have a car, say, thank you, Lord, that I still have a car. Because <laughs> I just have to ask family to take me everywhere. And I try not to do ask for every single time I want to go somewhere. I just but he does help me out with my gas and oil changes. Yeah. Okay. That's that story. <laughs> See ya. Guys, guess what? It started raining. Hallelujah. Our temperature is down to 73. It's 938 at night. The dogs and I are going to go out on my patio and sit in the rain and enjoy that 73 degrees. I hope it's 73 where you live too. Bye. See you in the next one.